here on the right hand you can see a gliding glacier coming down from the main glacier. It's very dark. It's part of a black color on it. That is are the ashes from the last volcanic eruption in Vejakata Yakut 2010. that uh, erupted in 2010 uh, it's called Ea Fjala Jökul I think don't kill me if <laughs> I didn't pronounce that right but look at these views uh, the top of the volcano is presently hiding behind the clouds so not much to see but over there is part of the glacier and we're now climbing up there to i'm sure even more fantastic views it's just awesome okay i'm so out of breath like now but it's pretty steep doesn't look it but you can see in up there Almost there. Oh, can't get enough of these views, man. Wow. Would you just look at this? They've made steps up here. That's awesome. <laughs> Up. It's not all with steps, but a lot of it is, and it's very well signposted, so I can't really get, I get lost up here, or at least not on this trail. So. This landscape it's just almost impossible to comprehend it doesn't look that big but let me zoom in look down there is 
a car where there are several cars and they're not small cars and it's just they're all the way over there and and look how small they are in the landscape it's just almost can't see them So we're back at the campsite and uh, that was one awesome walk. Really recommended if you ever are in this part of the country, part of the world. That's the end of the trail to Palanuku. We came from there, we went up there and that was an awesome trail. It's just great. Back at the campsite, I'm gonna have some lunch and it's getting busier already with people going up the trail, so we were just there in time, which is fantastic. Um, we're just going to walk a random trail right now. No idea where we're going, but um, we'll see what it gets at gets us uh, just following some signs and uh, turn my GPS on so if we get lost we can always find a way back so let's go <laughs> to Langui de Leur. By the way, hi Ian. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> It's all quite old. This working one two three test yeah I think so so yesterday my um, my camera my GoPro just killed my uh, SD card so the whole walk yesterday I had to do it on my phone but uh, we went back up yesterday uh, today to do a bit of the walk we did yesterday and uh, this is what we saw yesterday also only yesterday everything was in the clouds and today it is completely clear and so lovely so these are all the mountains you can see in the background and it's great so we're going down to Langui de Lourdes right now that's that way and uh, see if we can climb up some glaciers hopefully <laughs> because as you can see all the mountains are clear from 
clouds right now. So it's a great day to go up there. and uh, volcano in the background so look at this sun shining blue skies oh let's go for this day then <laughs> awesome to the bazaar hut and the start of the Fim Vordehaus trail uh, which is uh, that way Quite a cold wind blowing over the water, probably coming up from the glacier. Look at this man. <laughs> this is unreal. Uh, we just passed the Languidalur hut and the glacier is up there and we're on our way to the Bazaar Hut and uh, the Pim Vordehals Trail, um, which is uh, that way. And uh, we're just we've just passed this uh, this river. Thankfully, there's a there's a bridge. <laughs> but uh, let's see how far we can get up the mountain today and uh, look at some glaciers. The weather's looking good and um, hopefully the clouds will stay off the mountains for a while and we get some good views in. So here we go. <laughs> okay. So we're at the bazaar hut now and uh, going to see if we can sit down somewhere, have a bit of a drink and then um, Head up the mountains. Right, so we're at Bazaar Hut right now. I think we're going to take the 
blue route. So hopefully we we'll get uh, up to here somewhere so we can look at both glaciers. Have a nice view. But it's quite the hike. So let's see how far we get today. We're going up there and if we turn around uh, we can see the top we went to uh, yesterday is that one we were up there yesterday so that will be early in this film or in a separate film that comes out so we went up there yesterday but today up oop, and I almost fell over this one <coughs> face planted and we have some lovely flowers. Everything's in bloom here. So the trail goes up there. And probably over that ridge over there and there's a lovely little stream down in the valley which is further away than it seems but <laughs> don't drop off anywhere you'll die and there is the volcano and the glacier you can see it for a bit and that's where we came from so we're going to try and make it up that ridge and uh, maybe call it a day because we're both not feeling very well and uh, maybe try again later or we'll walk uh, another trail tomorrow. Not sure how well you can see it but we went down again and um, right over there you can see how the tops are going into the mist. So, not taking any chances, and we had some rain up there. So, we're going back to Languidelure at the moment. So, almost back at the hut that's over there. But first, we have to cross over this very steep bridge. Let's get up there. And we're up. Look at that, the glacier is completely in the clouds right now. So if you're ever at the Volcano Huts, huts um, campsite in Thorsmark, um, there's room to store your bags if you don't uh, have to go with the bus yet and you still want to uh, do a walk or something. And there's lots of cutlery and pots and pans and some uh, stove tops and even a water cooker to make your food. Which is pretty awesome and also benches and tables to sit at if you want pretty great okay testing i'm in my tent right now and uh it's raining uh, it's been raining almost all day it's day four day four, yeah day four in um, Iceland right now and uh, day three in Thorsmark. We've had a couple of really nice days uh, hiking up the mountains, uh, getting some good footage um, but since yesterday late afternoon, early evening it's been like pissing down I um, don't know if you can hear it, but I've had some uh, some leaks in my tent where the uh, sealant hasn't gone on too well and 
thankfully I brought my poncho on, so I uh, put it over the inner tent and uh, it's been holding up very well, it fits precisely uh, the entire dimensions of the inner tent where I had some leaks, so I'm very happy that uh, I've managed to avoid a disaster of everything in my tent getting wet. Um, Ian hasn't been feeling very well uh, since yesterday, so he's been coughing and uh, we've decided to just take a day off and have a tent day and read some. I think Ian has been uh, reviewing this, um, this footage from the last few days. And hopefully uh, it's going to clear up at 7 or 8 tonight and then tomorrow we'll have another very beautiful day in front of us if the forecast is correct. And um, other than that, I'll just read some more now. <laughs> Not much left to say for today, I think. Um, yeah, that was it for today. Over and out. Sun is going down and then coming up again. So this is the view from the Dwarfsmark uh, Volcano Hut campsite when the weather is good and everything is clear. Lovely. We have hiked up uh, far to the Langidelor Hut and now we're going, uh, well, to in the direction of Lattmoloder and Hamraskeuder. Uh, that way and see what kind of views uh, we'll be able to see there so let's go okay uh, we've climbed up a bit uh, if you look over there you can see the cave uh, we've been to I've walked past uh, a couple of times in the past few days and uh, of course there is the ever-present Eja Fjallajökull uh, and the mountain ridge over there at the uh, Langidalur hut and uh, this is just the most magnificent view and we're going this way up the mountain, see if we can find the Lugavigger Trail. Uh, walk up it for it a bit uh, because this is our last day here in Thorsmark and uh, we want to make the most of it because everything's so clear, the clouds are up high, and sometimes the sun is shining. So we just want to make the most of our last day and get some very pretty nice views and some nice shots in for the video. And look at that. Oh wow, it's like a big meadow full of flowers. Hey people, <coughs> we're meeting up with the Lugavega Trail over here. It's all right, Ian's in, Ian's in the shop, but that's Always. all right. <laughs> no problem. So, you can see the... Oh, it's all backwards. Uh, it's the 
full of smoke and bazaar huts, leuke vegan trail, and the Amster Botnar hut is 13 and a half kilometers. I don't think we're going to make it today. Yes, we are. <laughs> no, we're not. We're walking all the way. <laughs> uh, but we're going to uh, go down here and just walk a bit of the way. Uh, too bad it's going down again. Up there, we had so many beautiful views, but we wanted to walk a uh, part of the uh, Lokevega Trail on uh, our last day. So down here we go <laughs> into the woods, I think. Yep. So we came from there. We are now here. Uh, yesterday and the day before we were here, and at Bazaar Hut. And we went up here, and then the weather became very bad, so we went back. And you are here, and now we are going to follow this blue line over here. So, let's go. Oh! I just turned back. River crossing! You go first. <laughs> Oh no! Is he going to make it? Which way are we going? Ah! Uh... Ah, oh, damn! <laughs> Whoops! Yeah! Just... Made it! <laughs> and we walked through the woods for a couple of minutes, uh, which was pretty bland, and now We've come out to this view, which is not bland, pretty awesome. I'm going down Whoa. towards the river. We have transported ourselves to Middle Earth. I don't want to go. I want to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not going over that. I'm not going to do that. No. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to film this discreetly. Yeah. I'm not going to film this really discreetly. <laughs> Just going to be open about it. People trying to cross the, uh, the river on the Luga Vega Trail. Um, don't know if my water shoes with me so I'm not going to do that but that's what it's going to look like if you get over there. It's very cold. Oh. Look at that background. <laughs> so we've been uh, paddling around the uh, Luga Vega trail for uh, about an hour now and we've come to the river and uh, I can't go any further because I don't have my river, river crossing shoes with me. Um, so I think we're going to go back up and do a lovely little uh, circular route to Langida Lourdes and then back to our campsite. Wow, look at that! Just climbed up a very steep part of the mountain and we're taking this really sorry for the for the out of breath. <laughs> we're taking this really small little path. Uh, Ian is doing some twirling I think uh, <laughs> to uh, towards the uh Langida Lurhut. We have to go over one mountain and then down uh, to the hut. And then we'll have some 
lunch and have a little rest and then uh, carry on to our own campsite and wait with us back to Reykjavik. Hiking through Middle Earth. <laughs> this is incredible. It's like Rohan. Wow. So I know we're going to be doing the Golden Circle uh, from tomorrow onward, but nothing can beat a view like this. Look at that! Look at that! So glad that we climbed up this mountain this morning. Incredible. Oh, this is one of the best holidays in my life, I think. The grandeur of this landscape is almost incomprehensible. It's just... It looks small on camera, but this is so big. The landscape is enormous. Never been in a landscape like this before. Never will again, probably. But so glad I went on this trip. I'm out of breath. <laughs> we just climbed all the way from down there up to here. Look at that. Look, look, look. Wow. Fuck no. This is incredible, man. And this on our last day, like, oh, some kind of treasure. some time to climb up here but we're walking on a ridge right now and the views from 360 are just amazing incredible wow can't believe it so this is more of the ever present AFL and Yukut and I think that is, can I see it in that small screen, yeah, for Lanukur, where we were on on our first day, our second day in Forsmark. Higher and look at the views we got. Not long now before we're going to descend down into Langidalur. But wow, what a fantastic hike this has been! 360 views, <sighs> amazing. So we've just been up there and we're going back down to the Langi de Lurhut and oh my gosh look what, what far, how far away it is way down in the distance oh, we're gonna drop ourselves down off the mountain And 
here we are back down at the Languedoc Hut. So oh, this is um, the end of our fourth day in Thorsmark and I have to say I absolutely loved it. It's incredible. Would recommend 10 out of 10. Uh, just bring your tent or stay in a hut and go here for about a week at least to get all the hiking paths and uh, everything to, to take in and pictures and film and it's just too much too much to to see and too much to photograph but absolutely amazing so I'm here with uh, Ian from Hike Begins at 40 I'll link uh, his channel in the description and he'll be also publishing a film or a couple of films uh, about our trip on his own channel like I am on my channel The Artsy Hiker uh, Next up is the Golden Circle We're going to rent a car and drive around Iceland for a bit for the coming days and also make a film about that so see you later thank you for watching and until next time oh yeah and like and subscribe thanks <laughs> bye